Yo, what up, people? You're here from Creative Tech Live, and today is Thursday, which means it's a three minute Thursday. That means we tackle a subject in three minutes when I start the timer. Today should be super, super duper quick. So today we're talking about iMovie, we're referencing a video that I did a couple weeks back about how to get a cinematic look. Basically, how would you color grade in iMovie? And the number one questions that I got in the comments on that particular video was, if it is that you applied the look or the effects to one particular clip, did you have to do it for every single clip? Or how do you do it for every single clip? So we're gonna go into this video here. It's a simple couple of keystrokes. So let's get into it. And then I'll show you at the end, I'll show you a couple of different nuances and other ways you should do it and why you shouldn't do it that way. So let's jump into the software and do what we do. All right, so I don't even think I need to put three minutes on the clock. This is gonna be so simple and then I'll just explain all the other little finer details after we show you what we need to do. So let's jump into iMovie here. So this is our original clip. As you can see here, it has some nice colors and contrast all in it there. But if I reset that, that was the original image and this is what it was color graded to. So some other clips from that day, which were also shot in S-Log, you see they look gray and look washed out there. If I come back to my original clip and I just Command C and then I Shift select all the other clips and then if I just Option Command V, you will see that clip just changed. This clip now has a color in it and that clip now there and it's that easy, super, super simple. And that's how you do it if you need to apply effects. A couple other things I want to note though. So let me reset all the effects on here. So for a clip like this, it was shot in slow motion. I also probably would be editing to music. So come over here to speed, slow it down there. I'm gonna say by 25% because that's the way it was shot. I also took all the audio out. So now I have all the effects that I needed to and let me now come back and reapply them to that Again, Command C, I'm gonna Shift Select to select all the other clips, and I'm gonna Option Command V, and now you see that all, so this one is now in slow motion, this one is now in slow motion, the audio um, effect was on there as well, and if I had any other effects on there, and the slow motion timing effect is on there as well too. Um, so anything that I did was affected there. You can see here, up in this area right here where it's blue and highlighted on the effects panel. Those are all the things that are affected if you wanted to. I do wanna show you one more thing though. So a lot of people, if you need to match color, which is different from doing effects. So if you had colors that were white balance off you might go ahead and use match color. But look at this scene right here, even with the guys. So let me reset these one more time and just show you if I was to come here, and that's Ryan walking there again. If I was to come here and try and do match color and took the colors off of this, it would try to match it. But as you could see there, it doesn't do as good of a job as if I reset it and do it the way that I showed you. Command C, Option, Command V, you see you get way better colors and a way better look out of it or a way better match to match it to it. And then yeah, it's that simple. So that's it. Anyway, hopefully you like this video. If this video helped you out in any way, shape or form, please go ahead and drop it a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, do all the things that YouTubers tell you to do. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but I beg no friend. However, we have a ton of other iMovie tutorials, link up here and at the end of the video on a couple of different cool things to do in iMovie and also reference to the one. And it'd be nice if you joined our small but growing little community. We recently hit 2000 subscribers, so big up to all the people that have taken the time to hit up those buttons down below. I'm always truly humble. 2000 is not a small number. As somebody that does events, I know that it's a pretty decent sized event one tier for all the people that can't go to events right now, but hopefully we're back outside soon. Anyway, I will catch you in the next video. I will not ramble on and see you soon. Keep creating, stay creative. Peace.